All right. What is up? So today uh, we are back with a new fighter showcase. The fighter that we're going to be doing it on right now is Kevin Holland. Uh, just being added literally probably less than 10 minutes ago. So I wanted to try and get this out quickly for all of you that haven't seen it. Let's get into his stats here. Laser focus, frontal assault to get uh, to your feet, force and nature. So some pretty good perks there. Uh, I really like uh, frontal assault. That's one of my favorites. And 93 punch speed, 93 pu 95 punch power, which is pretty damn amazing, to be honest. Um, I'm sure he got some of that off, that off the back punch against Sales. And 92 accuracy, which is pretty good. Blocking, not the greatest, but people like Cody Garbrandt have, you know, not great blocking. And you can see what he does, for instance. Uh, good head movement, good footwork. So all around pretty good. His kicks aren't the greatest. So he'd be four and a half star if you just, you know, without the... Uh, kind of shabby takedown defense and kicks so and you know you don't use kicks too much in the middleweight division because it's kind of slow and you have a lot of roberts just walking forward on you anyway so that doesn't really matter too much now this is one of his best uh assets though 89 top control 91 bottom but most importantly it has 90 submissions 94 sub d ground strike and 94 definitely from the south of fight 90 couldn't strike an 88 couldn't control 92 cardio will get into the 95 of chin my man has four and a half that 94 recovery and that is some savage health cell health stats there we go four star elbow four star spinning elbow spinning elbow is quite okay in this game so i mean you can't complain about that four star laid body hook four star straight and three star hook four star straight is amazing I'm pretty sure Cody has a four star straight, and that's the best straight in the game. You know, it's like UFC three Nick Diaz's. But let let us not waste any more time. We'll get into it. We're gonna be facing up against Blake Tyler, a good mate here. He was nice enough to uh, help me out with this video. No better man to get, you know, to do a showcase with than Blake Tyler. To be honest, to eat the current Xbox ASFL champion. And then Moyo is probably the best player currently in the game alongside myself, if I do say so. Oh, that is quite uh, a cool stance where he had his hands down. Footwork seems a little bit slow, but maybe I'm just not used to the middleweight division. It doesn't have a side kick or anything. Oh, that felt pretty nice, though. This is my first time using them, lads. I just wanted to kind of, you know, give you my first reaction, my initial reaction with them. Wanted it to be as honest as I could. You know, testing out his moveset. Obviously not going to have the best of kicks considering his kick stats. He's more known for his hands in BJJ anyways. And BJJ is what he has, as you can see, he had that 94 sub D. But, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like, even though he may not be the best currently, in terms of, you know, some of his stats, I feel like after he probably KOs Derek Brunson, he will be one of the best middleweights in the game, because with that chin and recovery, he'll be able to compete uh, with Robert Whitaker on the feet. And the bottom game and the sub day, he will be able to fend off wrestlers and then just piece them up on the feet. I mean, he's going to be kind of like, uh, in my opinion, soon enough, he will be like an OP version of Tony Ferguson in the middleweight division. Obviously, not as great a bottom game, but oh, beautiful slip straight there by Blake Toiler. Oh, get that. This new patch, not the most, has been changed in it. But it's better than nothing, I guess. And the two new fighters kind of make up for it a little bit. Blake, actually, take me down there. Just while we're here. I just want to see, does he have um, rubber guard? He doesn't. All right. Interesting. Interesting. We'll stand back up here and get this back to the feet. Thought he'd have rubber guard, but apparently not. Oh, that's nice. Nice little duck by Blake. Oh, nearly get the rock there as well. Need to use that level 4 uh, body, laid body hook as well. And maybe even step out of range and catch him with that straight. That piston of a straight. Level 4 straight is, in my opinion, the best straight in the game. I know, obviously, as I think, well. But there's a level 5 one. You know, level 4 isn't as great as a level 5. It's to do with the animations. And even in UFC 3, there we go. That was a complete accident. But, you know, we're on top now and I'll take it. Uh, even in UFC 3, Nick Diaz, he had a level 3 jab paired with a level 4 straight, and that's what Cody Garbrandt has. 
and in this game, and Cody Garbrandt in this game has the best one two in the game by far, and uh, it's to do with the animations really. And level four straight paired with a level three jab is by far the best in the game, in my opinion. So Kevin Holland having a level four straight is huge. Oh, you know I'm not gonna lie. I won't lie to you as all. I am thoroughly enjoying using Kevin Holland right now. The hands, just the hands on him, the power. He really feels powerful. And knowing that you can resort to the ground game is really nice. It's good to have there. You know, of course, when you're using Robert Whitaker, you have your, you know, you have your boxing, you have your kickboxing. But he doesn't have the most on the ground for you. So it's nice to be able to have somebody like... Kevin Holland just in case you're getting messed up on the feet you are able to take them down you are able to walk the ground and you are able to try and latch on a submission or something like that oh and his length is really good too he has a really nice reach and just a nice height as well so he can kind of tower over his opponent but one thing I'm feeling right now is he doesn't actually have the John Jones effect which I believe he would in my opinion you can box something pretty well and you know the John Jones effect. I'm sure most of you know. It's when you basically just have too, too long of arms in the game that you can't. It leads you not to be able. To, oh, that was beautiful by Blake. Leads you to not be able to kind of box with the fighter that you're using. Izzy has the John Jones effect along with other fighters. Sean O'Malley being one of them, in my opinion. So I'm happy. Uh, Kevin Holland hasn't fallen to the same kind of fate here. Beautiful lunge, catch, tries to catch me with that, but I'm a little bit too wise for it. Double hooks, no, I thought you would uh, get caught by that there. Front kick, damn it. But like I was saying, this is, oh, brutal. Like I was saying here, you won't get much better gameplay than a me and Blake Toiler fight. So, you'll get to see the best of Kevin Holland this fight, no doubt. Gonna land that beautiful front kick. I can, I can sense it. Oh, he even has that one. That's really nice to know. Front kick. Ah, damn it. He walked into my range and I couldn't land it. If you don't already know as well, Vicente Luque was also added in this patch. And I will be doing a video on him just after this fight. So, keep an eye out on that. Blake, very smart to realize I'm about to uppercut the shit out of you. And uh, he pulls back on it. Oh, beautiful body. He may have high 90s cardio, but we're definitely going going for a war here. So, who needs cardio anyways? Me and Blake have played so much that he knows my combos and I know his perfectly. So that's why we're able to survive. Oh, beautiful. That's why we're able to survive a little bit longer than you'd expect. We can kind of use our head movement to our advantage. So you need to just be a little bit more unpredictable when playing somebody you've played this much. Especially with a new fighter, you can, you know, you may not be able to expect as much as you would with, you know, your your Connors or your Diaz's, so. Oh! And there, we go into the third round now. This isn't the shorter showcase, but I couldn't be happier, to be honest, because... I just really like getting to show off the actual fighter and his full kind of abilities. Who will even try and wrestle this round? You never know, you never know. So, I'm gonna use that. For, oh, yes. Blake is just so, such a, a great mind in the game. He knows what he's doing. He knows when to just pull back on strikes because he, he knows when he's gonna leave himself vulnerable and can really just kind of stop that midway through a strike. Oh, beautiful! Ah, damn it. Boat using that level 4 rear elbow, but he gets to a first. Gets the rock. Gonna land that front kick. Oh, it does a great job of keeping me out. Oh, no. No, this is... Oh, no. Shit. Shit. Alright. A lot of being hat. I think I'm gonna have to just kind of take a little bit of a chill pill. Oh, double rock. Shit. I didn't realise that was also rock. Using his footwork nicely as well to kind of just get out of the way of that uppercut without using head movement and leaving himself vulnerable. Throwing that lead body kick. 
sap that stamina a little bit more than it already is. Oh, shit. The, don't want to finish him because we're having a great scrap here. I don't believe in finishing in, in, the, in wars like this. These are tense times. I won't like this. Getting down to the nitty gritty stuff here. One mistake and it's over. Oh, a beautiful combo. That goes to show Kevin Holland's boxing combinations there. A little bit of a body knee in there. And we may even have to try and mix it up. Bring it to the clinch. Is MMA after all. Oh, great game knowledge by Blake to bring me into the toy whip. Noticing I was being a little bit stationary. Oh. No. Blake. Oh, my God. Hats off to Blake. I mean, that was Dino versus Blake-esque. Dino of Blake on the back foot getting his ass beat, and I won't lie to you. And then uh, just pulled off that slip straight. Perfectly done by him. Left myself too vulnerable there, hunting for the finish. But that was the Kevin Holland showcase. Need to keep an eye out for that Vicente Luque one that will be coming momentarily. But that'll be that. If you have liked the video and the showcase on uh, Kevin Holland, then a like if you appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed already, that'd be much recommended that you do so. And once again, hats off to Blake for an excellent fight. And appreciate you him helping me out with this video. But I will be back again. So, peace for now.